Alright everyone, now it's time to talk about the legendary self-destruction of Jank Uger, you know, the uh, leader of the Young Turks, involved with the Justice Dems before getting tossed under the bus by them, still has a stick up his ass about it, although it's a deserved one. Link in the description, archived of course, there was a little bit of an exchange a couple of days ago. Would have gotten to it in yesterday's live stream, but of course I was too tired to do the live stream. Hopefully today I can pick up the slack. Uh, my schedule is a mess at certain points, you may have noticed comes with the territory. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to read a couple of these things uh, verbatim before we get into <laughs> the larger meaning. Uh, for, I mean, the lack of self-awareness is, is sheer, but uh, I'll read this. This was Jenk the other day. L.A. is a mess. There's trash all over the roads. Cops don't respond to calls. It's close to anarchy here. Is Garcetti already in Mumbai? Is anyone running this city? Karen Bass seems to be saying she's going to maintain the status quo. She knows how to work the system. No thanks. Throwing the uh, random exclamation on the end. Trump style, by the way. He's, uh, he's learned to adopt that linguistic uh, trait. Bobby weighed in here. Montreal design. Get out of your car, grab a garbage bag, and start cleaning. You know, fucking do it yourself. Stop being a penthouse-dwelling nimbyist. You're sitting there complaining about how bad things are? Pitch in and help out. But Jenk doesn't want to do that, as you will see. No, that's not my job. Real people don't have time to also be municipal workers. Why doesn't Garcetti get out of his fucking car, or leave his mansion, and pick up the trash? Now, uh, the first, the lack of self-awareness is funny. L.A. is a dem-led city in a heavy blue state. Um, that's why it has fiscal issues and issues with machine politics that lead to low efficiency. That's why nobody's picking up the trash. The defund the police movement, which Jenk glowingly endorsed over and over again, is why the police don't respond to calls. There aren't enough cops there. Nobody wants to sign up to be a cop. They look at what happens to police, wh whether they're doing their job well or not, and all of the wanton prosecution of the cops, getting railed on by politicians, having no job security, why would you want a job that includes the possibility of getting your head blown off at a traffic stop if you're also not getting the benefit of any form of respect from your employers? That's, that's not something that a sane person would do. Doesn't impact small town America so much, but it's a huge problem in a lot of these big cities, especially in a blue state, especially in a blue city within a blue state. And that's what Los Angeles is. Los Angeles mayor is a Democrat. By the way, I guess Jenk is now endorsing some was Republican uh, to run for that or some similar position, and he's getting crucified by Jimmy Dore and others for that. It's easy to do. The second part of his statement, though, uh, manages to make the whole thing worse. Real people don't have time to also be municipal workers. So you're not. So you're a real person. Uh, you're you're not capable of mowing your own lawn or picking up your own trash. I imagine Jenks the sort of person after he scarfs down the Happy Meal, he just tosses the shit to the side out of his limo window. You and people like you are the ones messing with the world the most. All of the dregs, those evil, ma those icky masses that are scattering trash everywhere and clogging up the streets with. You know, homeless encampments in L.A., a lot of those people were ill-served, again, by a democratic government within a democratic government, with the federal government at the moment being run by Democrats, too. I wonder why the problem in L.A. is metastasizing so badly. It's a problem of shitty politics. It's the same socialistic policies that Jenk himself ironically supports. Then he goes back to his uh, penthouse, or his gated community, or his beachfront home, or I don't know how many properties he owns, but I'm assuming it's more than one. Uh, and he feels safe because uh, he wants to take guns away from you, but he's got his private guards around him to make him feel safer with their glocks. <laughs> I'm sure Jenk probably owns a firearm, too. You shouldn't be allowed to, though, you icky polyester shirt wearer. You icky masses should pick up the uh, trash. Or the politicians should do it. The same politicians that Jenk himself goddamn supports. Oh, this lazy politician's not keeping the road. Look at all the potholes. Yeah, well, we libertarians try to warn you about the fact that it's actually authoritarians that have a road problem, mainly because you end up with a government bureaucracy, a union, where you get five dudes watching one dude very slowly shovel gravel into the pothole before paving it over. It takes them five hours to do what you could do with a goddamn bag of, of road tar. You could do it yourself with a heating element. And you could do it effectively for free <laughs> and probably be a better job done at the end of the day. This is the problem of unions and heavy-handed bureaucracy, and wasteful spending, and to an extent, the damage from lockdownerism that Jenk also glowingly supported. So, I mean, the self-awareness is zero. 
and the response was somehow worse. The insinuation, some people were reading into that, well, uh, the Jenk considers himself a real person, but not municipal workers. It's not actually what he meant to say. The problem is that he's not well-spoken in some cases. He goes off the rails and starts bellowing like a buffalo. He did that. He managed to do it in a digital format this time, like he increasingly does. And now he's gotten to the self-destructive stage, where he's picking a fight with other leftoids that have larger audiences than he does. His own audience engagement is waning. Uh, it's been waning now for years. And he's getting tossed under the bus by former allies and ridiculed by people who always didn't like him to begin with. He's getting called disingenuous, he's not a real progressive, etc. And you love to see it, because the hand is being bitten by that which it was attempting to feed. Jenk went out of his way to try to uh, uh, cater to these people, to pander to them. Pander to the pink-haired freak censorship crowd, pander to the hyper-unionization like the Bernie crowd, which now he appears to be at war with to some degree, to pander to losers socialists and other losers in society. These people are perpetually outraged. They constantly call for censorship. They have a constant purity test amongst them, whereby they get more and more frenetic over time, and you will eventually be left behind. J.K. Rowling is now considered a, big, a bigoted and problematic individual. She's a goddamn third-wave feminist, probably a Lib Dem or something like that. She's far left, but she's not far left enough for Jenk's crowd. And then he wonders why at some point, as the sexist male that he is, by the way, he gets dogpiled and thrown under the bus. Wait until his epic and spectacular meltdown on midterm night, by the way. Clankers will be on his live stream after ours uh, culminates, I'm sure. At this point, the writing is on the wall. It's going to be one for the ages. Uh, I, I mean, is he going to walk off his show half crying again, like he did in 2018? I'd like to see that. I think that'd be hilarious. Uh, Jenk uh, has destroyed his own career prospects. Even Susan Wojcicki, maybe she won't return his phone calls anymore. That'd be the icing on the cake. That's about all. Peace out.